Hi, it's Dr. Richard Folks, and I'm going to be taking the time today to go through uh, the first insertion of an intax in, uh, anterior segment or a segment uh, into the anterior segment using the uh, Zemer femtosecond laser. Um, the Zemer LDV uses extremely low energy, tightly focused, approximately a few millimeters, um, and very low energy nanojoule energy to uh, to create dissection planes which are completely free of any tissue bridges. Every part of the uh, treatment is actually uh, uh, complete. And this is demonstrating the bubbles you can see down below there that it was put under cellophane. The black uh, is more than enough to stop the, uh, the energy from uh, reaching the, the zone that we want it to. And uh, so we've created tracks basically for these uh, intact segments to go. Um, a little tight here in the lower segment because the black ink got a little bit tight on the lower left hand corner. So we're going to use my finger to counter pressure, um, as one does actually do when one inserts segments. And you can see that we fairly easily get past that tight area there. Um, the superior track of this particular case, uh, uh, the uh, pig with keratoconus, has uh, a, a lot wider track in it, and we're going to have no issues here at all because, again, uh, fundamentally different treatments with the uh, Zemer because there are no tissue bridges. Uh, we're going to go uh, right around here. Uh, again, extremely important uh, take-home point for the Zemer laser is because of the extremely low energies we're using here, we simply don't have inflammation in these eyes. The first spot energy uh, we discovered personally was the uh, issue with uh, using uh, the intralace laser. This is what created inflammation. And though we could get the energy down to around uh, one point something uh, microjoules, it was still causing sort of subclinical inflammation, and we still see uh, many cases of trouble there. So with the future of this, we don't want that upper right-hand corner with large cavitation and tissue bridges. We want the lower left-hand corner where we have virtually no tissue bridges, very clean dissection. Every zone of that dissection has been taken out. This is achieved by pulse duration, power focusing and repetition rate, all of which are fundamentally different with the LDV. This is showing an interlace cutting very thick into the eye where you have tissue bridges down in the mesodermic part of the cornea. You're going to pull it up causing these tissue tufts like that, which are, uh, which are showing this very rough surface. That was actually a blade in Imperial. And here is an example of how smooth we get at around 200 microns um, with the LDV. Again, just to emphasize, look at these clean, smooth, undisrupted uh, passage, passageways through the cornea. So here I'm going to actually make uh, four cuts uh, down through the cornea. We're going to uh, just stack these cuts one on top of the other. And as you can see, uh, they're, they're all perfectly smooth in the interfaces. And uh, so that's the first interface, and the second interface is coming next. And, and so on. And what you'll note here with each one of these is that there is no uh, evidence that there's any difference between the different um, layers. And uh, we're going to go down to the fourth layer here. There it was. Um, now this is the eye where we've actually lasered all the way down to the eye. So using the 250 micron head, we went down three times to the base of the eye. So we actually lasered all the way into the anterior chamber. Uh, and again, of interest here is how uh, with each of these 250 micron layers you see a perfectly smooth surface. We think this is important for DLEK and all deep lamellar graphs. And I think that in uh, banking and in other work we're going to find this to be extremely useful going forward where we don't have to uh, uh, deal with these very rough surfaces which are difficult to dissect of course, but more importantly uh, are causing inflammation and uh, other issues with it. Post. Um, and uh, finally, uh, let's move on to just summary. Uh, the Zemer LDV, a lot of good things to say. Working at low energy, high repetition. This is your non amplified 21st century laser, completely different than any of the other lasers. Uh, works in megahertz, nanojoules, and under 10 microns accuracy. There's no OBL, no inflammation, millimeter focal distances, spot sizes are smaller, and there's very low maintenance. Yeah, the device is actually mobile, can be pulled around. Uh, no inflammation occurring at the end with using molar inserts. It's a very important issue for us going forward. And we're going to have the ability to work at around 450 microns as of the first week of November, and I'm going to report on that as soon as we get that opportunity in a couple of weeks.
weeks. Um, and uh, finally, I'd like to just give a shout out to the uh, brilliant uh, German professor, Olgar Lubinchowski, who is a non-amplified, faster, and tightly focused individual. And also to the uh, to Frank Seymour and the amazing, amazing, passionate group out of Biel, Switzerland, um, who have been able in a very short period of time to change the world with emphasis second lasering.